I was always a kid who wanted to know how things worked. And when I was in high school, I took lots of courses in physics and, and chemistry and so forth and so on. And I, I decided that I wanted to be a, a scientist, even at the probably the age of 10 or 12 or so. And, and when I got to the, to the library and started using it to learn about what different scientists did, I came up with the idea that these came from families very similar to mine, where they came from ordinary homes and so forth and so on. And so I had the feeling in my mind, why can't I be a scientist? When you were coming up, who was it that you looked up to as a mentor, as someone where you could see yourself doing that? Did you have anybody? A chemistry teacher, she was very good. And I asked her on, on one day, why are egg yolks yellow? Mm -hmm. And she says, why don't you find out? <laughs> and that started me on the search of, of because I got a, something called the Handbook of Chemistry. And I couldn't read all of it because I didn't understand all that stuff. But I did learn that, they, that there were sulfur compounds in egg yolks. And they came from eating chickens eating seeds. When I got my degree in atmospheric science, there were very few people that looked like me. And I think that that was part of the reason that it was so hard for me to get through college is because when I was challenged in thermodynamics and differential equations, uh, that I didn't feel comfortable going to my counterparts to ask for help, to, to ask for help even on, you know, homework or small equations. So how did you get through it, Warren? By having a background in physics, it kind of got me to uh, sort of tackle the equations and how to solve them and so forth. As as I won't say an easy thing to do, but it was something that I could I could figure out. And uh, I was always very curious, uh, not only with understanding science, but but how do you solve the equations? Of all the awards that you have gotten over your lifetime, is there any that made you say, oh my gosh, wow, I really have made it now? I guess it was the National Medal of Science. Uh, it, it was a wonderful ceremony at the White House. And um, I was given the, the, the award along with nine other scientists. And just to give you some idea, one of the scientists was the inventor of the digital camera. I do know for a fact that you still work very hard, very closely with NCAR. What drives you after doing so much in your career? What drives you every day? Well, I, I just find it enjoyable. <laughs> I, I enjoy my science and my contributions to it. I was deeply honored to receive from the, the, the American Meteorological Society a medal in my honor. It's called the Warren Washington Medal. And it's for scientists who um, uh, had scientific careers, but also uh, exercised leadership in various areas of our, over, our, uh, over our field. And so that's that kind of follows the the pattern in which I've tried to make contributions, not only in leadership areas, but also in, in doing science. So you can make contributions in, in many different ways. And um, I'm, I'm deeply honored that, that the American Meteorological Society has given me this medal.